Hello everyone and welcome to my OpenTDD tutorial slash let's play series. I'm not really into introductions, so I will be short and brief. Uh, by the end of the tutorial you will be able to build a rail network like this. Or something very similar to it. Uh, all you need to know to start the series is to know what all of these icons on the top bar means. So if you don't know that, please play through the in-game tutorials first, and then you should be able to, uh, you should be good to go. Uh, I will explain everything as I will build it, so you, you can kind of build along if you if you wish. And I think we can dive straight into it. So uh, in the main menu, we are going to click the game. I'm going to set the starting year to 2015 because we not. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with high number of industries with a flat map because that's the thing we really want uh, for a big rail network. And I will play the temperate climate because that's the one I'm really used to play. Right, we'll click generate. And right now there are some things we really wanna adjust in this game. So we are gonna click this branch icon and then the settings. Here you wanna change the category to expert and you wanna type in the filter string station spread. Uh, we wanna adjust this to at least 24 just so we uh, don't have to worry about stations. And we can also use it for station walking. Uh, another thing we wanna change is breakdowns. We wanna change that to none. Because that well, it's possible to build a large rail network with uh, with breakdowns enabled, but I, for the purpose of this tutorial, I don't think it's worth to work the hassle. I can show you some uh, basic depot designs uh, that you can use. We will also need to adjust acceleration. So by just typing Excel in, uh, we wanna change the train acceleration model to realistic and do the same thing for the road vehicle one. And that should be it. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, borrow all the money we can. You can do that by uh, click, uh, control clicking the borrow button. And we also want to change the color of our company to blue. Right? And this should be everything. So, let's open the map. And what we're gonna do is look for a, look for a spot where we can put our main station in. Uh, preferably I like something like this when you have a sawmill and a power plant right next to each other. So uh, then you can just unload both wood and gold there. Uh, hopefully we will be able to build a factory here. So we will have a like whole giant terminal there. But first thing, uh, what we're gonna do is put a marker here, just so we don't forget that. And what we're gonna do now is open the town directory, uh, sorted by population, and we're gonna build a airport in the biggest city we can find. So probably here. It's good. And what we wanna do now is create an airport on the other side of the of the map. Uh, you really want cities with like uh, at least thousand population. Like, let's just go by the directory. Uh, where is this one? All right, it's kind of close, but I, I like this one. So let's lower the land here. It's always a good idea to build some aircrafts first. Uh, here we're gonna sort it by cargo capacity and build some of these. Full load on both airports. I think four air aircrafts should be fun, uh, should be good enough. Oh, we can't click the depot here. All oh, doesn't matter. Let's just create more aircrafts here. Right, 
and we're good to go. So now we will find our marker and we are going to start building because the aircrafts will uh, keep rolling in the money. Uh, I will be using electrified railway uh, in this video uh, but all of the concepts I'm gonna explain are applicable to any kind of railway. Uh, I just like the electric one the most. That remind me, I might have forgot to... Ah, no. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna build a semi-large station. Uh, we don't really wanna get close to that city. So we're gonna build it here probably. Uh, I'm using platform length of 4, so that means we will have 4 dial long trains. And what we're gonna do is create landmarks here so the city doesn't expand to, to our station. Because then you have to deal with all the like demolition of buildings and that's terrible. Right, so what we're gonna do now is uh, think where our railway should go. So right now I'm thinking it should go like north. Um, I think it's fine. We will connect like everything else to that. So let's start building. Uh, we are gonna... Well, just to make things clear, uh, think of it like a road. Like, we are going to make two tracks here. We are going to put signals on one. Oh, not this type of signal. So right now think of it like a road. The trains are going to go on that side, uh, going north, in that direction, and then they will come back. And what we really want to do is make the trains go to station like this, and then they will leave the station to go back back on, well, like, back to their uh, loading stations. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is create a bridge, obviously. <laughs> We are going to connect uh, this side of the station to this railway, and then we will do the same thing with with the uh, other side. Uh, I'm gonna every time I build a curve, I want to have at least curve as large as the train. So if I have a trains of length four, I really want like four four tiles long curves. So then the trains don't lose speed, and the same thing goes for uh, for uh, long stretches of uh, railway. Because if I put a curve here, uh, the distance between the closest like turn would be free, and that would mean the train would lose speed. Well, in fact, I think it won't really lose on free. So let's see. I mean, we will be rebuilding this later, so it will be more efficient. Just for starters, I think this is okay. Uh, we are gonna adjust the, uh, change the terrain there, and do the same thing here. Uh, now we are going to connect it like so. In fact, we con connect it straight to the bridge. Now, this will be the hardest part when you are building uh, when you are building a rail network. Uh, if you press the S key will open up your signal selection menu. You can ignore the first row of signals because they are just they are the same thing as the bottom one. But the bottom one are like they look better in my opinion. So what we want to do is create a block signal. It's the first type. Uh, then you want to set it in the direction as if you were driving on a road. If you are from the UK you really want to you know put it in the wrong direction. And then what you're gonna do is control click the signal and drag it. And it will build signals every two tiles apart. Uh, the problem here is with diagonal tracks because as you can see uh, this there's a signal here so if we want signals every second tile which means uh, there will be one gap like one tile gap between the signals what you really need to do is put uh, signals there manually. So this is one signal, this is one tile, and then we want to put it here. Then you can just drag it and it will build every two tiles. 
uh, you can change the uh, you can change the density of signals uh, by increasing these numbers, but the two density is the best one, in my opinion. Uh, what we're gonna do now? You can s I totally forgot to mention you can switch between these two modes by pressing the X key. It will make building much easier, especially for signal set stations. So what we're gonna do now is put a signal in the correct direction uh, at the end of each station and there we're gonna control click and drag again and we should be okay so that's one side set up we're gonna do the same thing for the other side so put the, the block signal anywhere here control click drag it but what we're gonna do now here is press R Delete the signal and choose the path signal. Uh, it's the fourth one without the little box, and we wanna put it like so, so that the train has it uh, facing to towards it. Uh, this is red by default, so don't be scared. It will work. It's not a problem. Uh, you can also change between all of these signal types by by uh, cl control clicking the signal. So it will cycle through all of these signals. So this is the press signal, this is the other pre signal, uh, this is the combo pre signal, there's the path signal, and one way path signal. Uh, I will explain what all of these sig signals do later, and in fact, I will actively use them, so you don't really have to worry about that. Right. So right now we got a station, and we need some other station where the trains will load their goods, and then come to this one little station. So what we're gonna do is uh, extend our railway. I usually just build it like side by side. There are people who, who don't do that. I don't know, I just... I think it looks better. It's really about the uh, preferences. You can also build very far apart, like 10 tiles. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what we're gonna do now is connect this woods Oh, not this one, that's really bad. Ah, let's connect something more far, uh, more further. Right, so just uh, build the railway. There's gonna be a bridge. And... Let's see if there's a mine or forest. There's a mine. Kinda low production. We are also at the end of the map, so... Uh, let's build a station here. Okay, I'm gonna use number of tracks 2, platform length 4, because my main station is 4 long, so... Uh, I just want every single station in the game to be 4, because if you have a different train length, then the trains will take ungodly amount of time to load. Right, gonna build, uh, gonna build the signals. So there's our last signal on the railway. Control click and drag it. Do the same thing on the other rail, and you will have signals all over the railway. And what we're gonna do now is connect the station. This is one of the hardest parts uh, if you are trying to, well, if you are new to this. Uh, what you really that, I mean, there are various uh, design types, like the one we've built here uh, at the main station. Uh, this is called row row, which stands for roll in, roll off. So the trains go in through one side and then leave through the other. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, build a so-called terminal station, which usually means making crossing like this. And then we are going to use one rail, so the trains can come in, and then through the other rail the trains will go off to the main station. So I will make the uh, incoming rail first, because it's easier. Done. Uh, what we're gonna do here is put a signal here and click it four times. That will change it to the path signal. You can also just select the path signal here. And here we are going to build a bridge over the railway. And connect it to the other rail. I think it could be done like so. 
Uh, chances are we are going to be rebuilding this because uh, we might be adding another rail to the, the main line, which is which are these two tracks. These are called main line, and it's because all the trains from all over the map will connect to uh, connect to this track. Right uh, now we are gonna build a depot. I prefer to create one-way depots, which you can do by, which you can make by building a depot and then pressing uh, A, which will select the uh, auto rail or whatever that's called, and then pressing the R and deleting this way, uh, this little piece of rail, so the trains have like no way to get back into the depot because as we have as we have breakdowns disabled. It's not really worth it to uh, have service uh, to have the train services uh, service in the depot. So uh, I'm gonna build the Team Electric because I like the design the most. I'm gonna make it four length because we are using uh, four platform length, both on this station and in the main station, which is here. Uh, I'm gonna make it full load uh, at the mine and copy it three times because I think it's really kind of hard to eyeball how many trains you will need but for I mean like over half of the map in fact it's almost the whole map so I think three, three, uh, three trains will be enough for this and here's our first train arriving so let's speed up the game a bit to see how well, uh, how it works I'm gonna send it to the to the main station and as you can see the train went on this like over the bridge and connected connected to the way to the main station and here you will be able to see our train arriving and there it is oh. now it will unload the coal and it's back on its way to the to the loading station or the coal mine and it will connect on this rail to the station right uh, so that's our basic very basic railway we got two spa stations here nothing really fancy here uh, I mean there are various designs how you can do the central station or the unloading station or whatever you wanna call that uh, I used the most simple one, we will most likely be rebuilding this later because we won't really have, this doesn't have the efficiency of the of like bigger stations but then that doesn't really matter for now because we don't know how many trains there will be on the track. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial or let's play uh, and I will see you soon, have a good time.